Hello folks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Film Shortwave channel and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Texan PL380 been meaning to do this review for quite some time now and well, I've got obviously free time I may as well this will make a start. Uh, I've had this radio since 2014 and it's the first shortwave radio I've got so um, I have enjoyed using it quite a lot. Uh, as Per usual of these reviews, take a quick overview of what it comes with, what you get. Then we're going to tune the bands, then what I like and what I don't like about it. So, start off with nice small size, it's about half the size of the Texan PL680. Nice decent size display, you got keypad, you got your buttons for your FM, medium wave, long wave, on your short wave. Got a nice little uh, this strap as well. Well, on this side you've got a plug for your headphones and a mini USB so if you've got the chargeables in you can charge the radio up nice little kickstand and it gives you details of the frequencies so FM 87 to 108, 87.5 to 108, 76 to 108 or 64 to 108 depending on your country and where you are Medium wave 522 to 1620 or 520 to 1710. Uh, long wave 153 to 513. Zoom in there. And short wave 2300 to 21950. So it's not the entire short wave band. Powered by three AA batteries. Uh, this side you get the um, tuning wheel and the volume wheel which is in notches which, which is alright, I really want to fine tune stuff of course you've got your telescopic aerial it's, like a, it's not a massive area but it's it's long enough for um, to be used so let's, uh, let's extend the aerial a bit let's have a quick scan on the FM band Station. I'm gonna to have to be careful this I don't want to get hit by um hit with the copyright stick again. As usual you can tune it manually or you can press and hold the FM button and it'll scan on the bounds when it picks someone up, it'll save it into a temporary memory. And this will take some time, so you're probably going to, you will pick up the local stations. It does pull them in quite well. So for me, the Radio Stowe, Radio 1, Radio 2. Sometimes BBC Radio Wales. Uh, classic FM, or, or the usual FM ones. I'm just going to cut that short, see what we can get. So... That's a local station. Classic FM. Don't know what that was, probably signal one. Yep. Don't want to dwell on the FM for too long. Let's collapse the aerial. Let's see what's on the medium wave. Yeah, well, a lot of the stations are playing music, so we can't hang around too long on it. Mm, go BBC Radio 4 for now. Medium wave and long wave isn't too bad on this radio, particularly in the evenings where the European stations come in. Mm, 
quite a pickle problems at the moment. But of course with reading with it depends where you are, in Europe quite a few of them being shot down so there's not as much but the weaker ones from behind the stronger ones can come through. Again it depends on the time of day and propagation etc. Let's extend the antenna again. Um, so we've got the shortwave band. Well, this is what I've tuned in, just so we've got IOIB of the anything that is. Let's have a quick scan, see what we can pick up. I'll say this video is being done at when I got to work out UTC. 15.14 so... Anyway, well that is scanning around. What I would like any of you to do is, um, if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see in this channel, um, leave them in the comments box below or post to my Facebook wall and or send me a tweet all of that's a uh, link below in the description box down here unless YouTube has changed it which will be probably over here you know and over YouTube so let's see what we've got mm, not much propagating at the moment Probably trying to read you that one. Actually, not much is propagating. Um, what I'm going to do is because I've done quite a few videos of the 380, I'm going to put them into a separate playlist. So um, keep an eye out for that one. So here comes the usual bit toward the end. What do I like about it, or what don't I like about it? This is a difficult one, to be honest. I like it because it is small, it's compact, you can stick it in your backpack if you go on a little the expedition. The light, probably what's in this video, the light does, back light does stay on, so if you're tuning around at night you can leave it on and you can see what you're tuning to, which is a bonus because with the 680 it keeps going off and you keep having to, you know, press a button to get it sorted out. Um, what don't I like about it? That's, that is a difficult one. When I first had it, I thought the DSB chip wasn't much good because the signal was brilliant and it kept on fading out. Turns out that was my fault, to be honest, because I didn't have it in a good position. I didn't know much about propagation on the shortwave bands anyway, so I was suffering from bad propagation and blaming it on the radio. You know what they say about a bad worker blaming his tools, etc. Um, one thing to mention was the price. When I bought this, it was about, I think it's about £70. But I've seen one of these on Amazon for around £30. And for £30, you will be getting a very, very good radio. I mean, where else can you get a radio for 30 quid? that's half decent? We could get the Texan Rad 108, but you know. <laughs> now here's the thing about this radio. I would put it in search for the cheapest. But, I don't know. I only got it was £70, but now it's £30, so... If you think this should go in the shirt for the cheapest series, put that in the comments box below. Other than that, um, yeah, any other suggestions? Put in the comments box below, Facebook me, tweet me, what have you. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here and you enjoy this video, why not hit that subscribe button? And you'll be notified for when the next video is uploaded. And until then, thanks for watching and 73s.